105 mile per hour winds and it's moving west. It's slowed down now west northwest at five miles per hour. At that rate, it brings it right on shore near where you are, Lester Wilmington, at about a category two, 8 a.m. Friday, then continues on and makes its way on up into South Carolina and eventually making its way further up into the Ohio River Valley, but causing major problems. Here's what we're looking for extreme winds starting late tonight, going into tomorrow morning. We'll see wind gusts of 104 miles per hour. The storm surge, what you talked about, 9 to 13 feet in the central part of the North Carolina coast, but anywhere from 2 feet to 6 feet of all the way along the coast. And rainfall is going to be unprecedented. We're looking at a flood threat into early next week with anywhere from 10 to 20 inches of rain from Myrtle Beach all the way up to Cape Hatteras. And again, with upwards of 3 feet of rain, this is going to be a flood event that we talk about going into next week. Lester? All right, Al Roker, thank you. NBC's Gotti Schwartz is at Radio Island, North Carolina. It's about 200 miles up the coast from where we are. Uh, let's go to him. Yeah, Lester, as bad as these look, these are only a tropical storm force winds, the worst winds we're expecting uh, to come overnight. We're talking about those hurricane force winds, 100 miles an hour plus. Over there is the town of Beaufort, North Carolina. They are expecting a storm surge, unprecedented levels, at uh, 7.5 uh, feet. The last time they had a catastrophic storm uh, was back in the 1950s, and that one did incredible amounts of damage. Lester, back to you. Gotti Shorts, thank you. NBC's Kerry Sanders, a few miles south of us in Carolina Beach. What's it like there, Kerry? Well, the wind is picking up. It's not dramatic yet. The rain has been blowing here. I'm holding a wind speed monitor right now so we can get sort of real-time readings at points where there's hardly any wind, and then at other moments it picks up and starts blowing like it's doing right now. The real concern, of course, is that the wind right now coming from the west and blowing from a little bit from the north will eventually come around and come off the east, and that will cause the Atlantic Ocean, which you can see just beyond me here, and if you look at the Atlantic Ocean, you can see how furious it is. Well, that's where the storm surge will come in. Way out there, about 60 miles out, is what's known as the continental shelf. That's where it goes from about 5,000 feet up to 120 feet. And then it gets more shallow and more shallow as it gets closer to shore. And all the water that's building up in that storm surge makes its way here to shore. And that's where they're expecting a storm surge that could be upwards of 13 feet. Lester? Kerry Sanders, it is getting uglier by the minute in this part of the country. We have coverage teams positioned across the region as we continue to follow the storm. I'll be back with the very latest tonight on NBC Nightly News. For now, I'm Lester Holt, NBC News in Wilmington, North Carolina.